Hello and welcome. If this is your first time here, my name is Shadeva Roberts. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with what's happening here on this channel. And if you already subscribed, thank you so much for tuning in today. So this week, I want to encourage you with a very practical word. Something that I feel like is very practical for us to use, to live by, to grow from. And then I'm going to make it profound for you. And what is that? Write it down. Write it down. When God takes the time in his grace to speak something to you, write it down. Write it down. You know, um, I don't know about you, but I am not the best as it pertains to like remembering things. You know, just even as, you know, just uh, as a human race, as we are as people, you know, so easily we can forget the good things that God has done. And more importantly, the great things that he has said. When he speaks something to us, when he takes the time to speak to us, then we got to grab hold of that moment. And especially if, we, if we're not able to remember it in our minds, if we're not good with remembering things, we need to put it on paper. You need to put it on paper. You need to be able to remember those moments. You know, um, they're going to be able to carry you in the times when you'll need them. So if God is speaking something, he's not talking just because he doesn't have anything else to do. He wants you to remember what he said. He's speaking to you because he wants you to hold on to his words. And they may not be for today. They may be for tomorrow, for another season. Nevertheless, write it down. It's his grace, as I said, that he will speak to you one of the most practical things you can do when you go into your prayer time is take a journal with you get yourself uh what you you know may call your prayer journal you know when you go into your, your private time with the lord take a, a small notebook or something with you and a pen and just prepare yourself position yourself to hear from god but more importantly when he speaks write it down whatever it is that he says to you so that you're able to recall you want to be able to recall what God says. So that's the practical side. Let me make it profound for you. Let's go into Habakkuk. And I'm going to go to, you know, verse 2, chapter 2, verse 2. You've heard it a quadrillion times probably over the course of your life. Write the vision, make it plain. Write the vision, make it plain. Well, let's read it, what it says here. It says, then the Lord replied, write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets hallelujah, so that a herald may run with it. For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. What is his word says? Make that vision plain the revelation i love the new international version you know of this word write that revelation down when god is speaking to you he's revealing something this revelation is about something is to come and then he says make it plain make it plain hallelujah so that a herald may run with it so that you may run with this word that god has given to you that it, 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 it's going to equip us in the time hallelujah as it says for the revelation awaits an appointed time it equips you in a time when you need it there are many things that the Lord has spoken you know to me over the years and he may have spoken to this year that year whatever the case is I wrote it down and years later I just have a like aha moment like oh my god I remember the day the Lord spoke this to me and sometimes I go run through my journals I pull all of them out and I just like Flip through the pages, flip through the pages, because I want to remember. I want to go back to that date and that time. And a lot of times the Lord will, you know, dates and, and, and specifics of how he says things. It'll come to pass as this word says. Hallelujah. Though it linger, wait for it, it will certainly come and will not delay. It's a revelation in a way, it's an appointed time. It speaks of the end. He, it, it, it's going to be sure exactly what he said, just how he said it. And even the wording he'll use sometime when he speaks to you, it'll come to you. And you're just like, oh my God. He said it was going to be on a day when it's hot or, or this or that. And it happened just as he said it. So write it down. Write it down. Don't take it for granted. Do the practical thing. And write it down. Get a prayer journal. Get something to go into prayer with you. Expect to hear God's voice. And when he speaks to you, write it down. Take the, the revelation from this scripture I just gave you. That's what makes it profound. 
hallelujah. God's word is breathed on it, on us being obedient in that way and doing what he has said to do. And he's going to speak to you in the time and in the season, hallelujah, that he has called for it to be. In the time and the season he planned for it to come to pass. It won't delay. It may linger, but it won't delay. It may even be just for a random day throughout the week. He may know on Thursday. Hallelujah. This week, you're going to have something that you have to deal with. And on Monday, he spoke something to you in prayer. You need it. So be encouraged and write it down. If you don't write it down on Monday, then it won't be any help to you on Thursday. So take this practical wisdom, hallelujah, and let it become profound in your life by taking these steps. Write it down. I pray this is an encouragement to you, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.